the Bolt, which we bought only months ago, had maybe 50% range in that really cold weather. Didn't make a difference to us, as long as we plugged it in every night. And you got to plug it in because it heats the battery and it keeps it, you know, in a good shape for yeah. doing that. And you weren't going on any road trips, yeah. you just had to get around to But if we were going on a road trip, it'd be a problem. Or if we were an Uber, an Uber driver or a... Somebody driving for the gig economy, that would be an issue. You know, you'll see them arguing on forums that, well, they don't work in winter because they lose half their range. Well, they work perfectly well. They just lose part of their range. The new batteries that they're talking about is extending the charging capacity by 16%. So they're going to charge faster and they're going to enhance the energy density by 19%. And they're calling them the Winter Pro battery, which sounds like a tire to me. But I, yeah. I, I've often thought about this. You know, Canada, we're not Norway. We're not even Alaska because most of Alaska, most of Norway is tempered by ocean. We're in the middle of the continent here and we get really cold. They don't get that cold in most places of those. I mean, no, most populated places of those regions. So, I mean, you're not going to make a car designed for the prairies of Canada which have a few million people in them. We're not, a, you know, that large part of the market. But I thought that once EVs became ubiquitous, that we would maybe get specially formulated batteries for our problem. 